and this is one of the this is one of the most serious things that I've ever said. Maybe even one of the most emotional and personal things that I've ever said. And um, it has to do with DMX, and and it has to do with his passing. But not only his passing, but his childhood and what he has went through. What we have went through. Now, my relationship with DMX. We wasn't super close, but we had time enough to be able to talk to each other. And coming from similar backgrounds, there's certain things that I need y'all to understand. When he, and this is not what somebody told me. This is what he said to me. He said, you know, when he was younger, his mom had took him to a, um, a, 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 a children's home. And said um, that they was just going to visit. And she left him there. She took him there. And she left him there. And. He was too little. To be there. Too little to understand. How to defend himself. How to take care of himself. And everything else. But he did it. And he survived it. And. We all have our ways of dealing with it. I've been through that system. I've been through that. I know what it's like when people think that adults don't care about children. I know what it's like to run the streets, sleep on a train, sleep in the hallways, try to sleep at friends' houses, have people tell you you could come stay at their house and their brothers are trying to mess with you or or uh, or even their fathers and adults and uncles and shit. I know what it is like. And we all handle it differently. We all have our demons. When you when people would see me and say how angry I was, they didn't understand what I had endured and what I went through. And when when I as, as soon as me and DMX came in contact with each other, as soon as me and Earl came in contact with each other, we already knew what was done to that spirit and it makes you overly aggressive it makes you seem angry to people it makes you seem mad to people so people try to find whatever they can in order to overcome that some people turn to drugs some people turn to drink and some people turn to other things people wonder why we give so much why we the money that i make now Right. I give most of my money away to children who are in foster care and going through situations. You know why? Because there was nobody to do that for me. There was nobody to do that for me. So I do that. I give back. I try to I try to make everybody happy. I try to keep everybody good because of what I may be dealing with on the inside. Everybody's fighting their own fucking demons. So when I think about it right now, I think about the fact that when that certain amount of peace comes along, why do you think? Let me just let me tell you why Roxanne and Shantae don't drink or don't use drugs. You know why? Because I'm so afraid to find some fucking peace in it that I would never stop. I'm so afraid to find some fucking peace in it. I still now fight with going to sleep. When I'm up and I'm posting 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm not happy that I'm up 3, 4 o'clock in the morning posting, knowing that I got to start my day all over again. But that's because when you go through those systems and you go through that, you learn how not to sleep. You learn how not to sleep. So you up. You up and, and every time somebody shows you the least little amount, the least little amount of some type of deceit or you catch somebody wrong, you so quick to let go because you know that as soon as you let your guards down, as soon as you trust somebody, something bad can happen. Something really bad can happen because you've done it. To miss out on a childhood. And then people wonder why you make the mistakes you make. Yeah, I make mistakes all the time. And they say, oh, you probably suffer from arrested development. Oh, you probably have this. You probably have that. No, I went through some fucking shit 
too early in life. I went through it when I wasn't supposed to. That's what it was. I went through it when I wasn't supposed to. And it's just so hard when when you see when you see people saying mean things and doing mean things and 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 even when you online and people are, are posting and saying negative things and saying all this other foul shit, you you learn to just see past it. You learn how not to to you learn to you get a tough skin because of it. So my my heart is hurting right now. But in a way, I know that he has found some fucking peace. I do. And I'm saying this right now because for all of us who have experienced it, for everybody that's been out there that has went through the foster care system and had a bad experience, because I'm not going to say all foster parents is bad because I have a sister who's a foster care parent because she wanted to be one of the good ones. When you, when you have been a check child. That means they take them and they they, they take you in their house because they only want a fucking check. And then you go into this fucking hip hop field and they only fucking nice to you because you're a commodity and you making them some fucking money. It's like this cycle never fucking stops. It just never stops. Oh my God. So just know that there were people that were out here that were trying to help him. People that he could talk to. But you can't, nobody can fix what is unreachable inside of you. And it, it's, it's just rough. And I, I just need to say that. So so if you know a child and you see a child in foster care, or you see a child that's going through something, man, help them. Say something. Say something to their parents. You know, do something. Because it's so... It, you never know who that child is going to grow up to be. You never know who that child is going to grow up to touch. You never, ever know. You just don't know. And you just don't know. So I'm just saying, anybody that has been through it, I know it's hard. And I know that you're dealing with it. And I know you done seen enough social workers to save your lifetime. But maybe there is some type of therapy you get. Sometimes it's not even about wanting to grow up and be rich and have money. That's not it. It's not wanting to grow up. It's about wanting to find some peace, some happiness, a family that is yours. That's what you really want. That's all you want. I took in kids because I wanted I wanted kids to feel happy. I wanted them to feel a place that they could go and be loved. And yeah, my mouth may be foul, but they know they would never be hurt. They know they would be fed. They knew I would share my last. That's all you want. That's all you want. That's all you want. 